how y'all doing what's going on all right so while i was putting up some of these greenhouses i felt like it would be a great opportunity for me to make a video uh simply because i haven't made so many in a while and i've been doing so many things so like it or not you're going to see this jean shirt on a few playlists <laughs> uh probably a little bit more than you would like to but you know such is life all right so and forgive if you hear a chicken or a rooster in the background don't pay any attention okay now so um i usually i usually start a lot of my plants for vegetables and everything indoors um and that was only because in our previous home we only had enough sunlight uh that was like uh, I will say three or four hours of really good sunlight because we were heavily shaded. And um, I also didn't have that much space to start a lot of things outside either. However, in our new home, um, this estate is pretty large. And so uh, instead of putting my greenhouse inside as I usually do and hooking up grow lights, I am now taking advantage of the outdoor sunlight that we have, which is a massive amount of sun exposure and of course a massive amount of, uh, of space because of our numerous acres. Now, um, I wanted to show you all just a little bit of how I'm putting these greenhouses up. These are the portable greenhouses. This one right here, well, first of all, these are the frames. <laughs> Don't think that this is a greenhouse <laughs> like this. Um, these are the frames for them and uh um this one right here this small one right here i purchased this one uh probably this is my first one i purchased this my second son is eight so i purchased this about six years ago so it's been holding up really well and i mean come on it's been holding up pretty good for a frame. No bent anything. Nothing's bent. No bent wiring. Nothing. Um, and that's good. And I bought that from all these, actually. This is my second one. This one actually is a walk-in one. And um, it's, it really is good. I actually had this on the other side of the property. Um, forgive me, because I do not know my east and west and north and south as of yet. I'm still learning all of that good stuff, but uh, um, it's it's really good. I, I, I decided to move it because it was already in a lot of sun on that side, but because my garden will be here, my uh, she shed is right over here. I wanted to bring it into a a closer proximity of where I usually am. So, um, uh, so yeah, so that's the reason why I moved it. But what was really cool is I, when I went over there to bring this over here, I first opened it up cause nothing was inside. It just had its, it had its full green house part. Uh, I went inside and y'all, it was super hot inside there. So that just let me know, um, the amount of sunlight that I am getting and it's still very much morning. Uh, so that's a really good sign for me to, be able to start some seeds uh, and bring my bare root strawberries, which I'll probably do a video of that a little later on today. So like I said, you'll have some definite, you know, me time with the qual me time and quality time with this jean chop uh, that I have on right now. But for right now, I just wanted you guys to see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so let's get into it. This greenhouse, these two greenhouses are gonna be over here. I'm gonna really station them um and uh make sure that a lot of my seed starts are going to be over on this side but to prohibit it from blowing in the wind um because we kind of get cool here we don't get super super cold uh, we have had really really frost temperatures like in the 20s at night but so far the forecast is showing that we'll be in the mid 30s or upper 30s at night so these are really good signs that um my frost date is you know soon to end over here i'm in um zone 8a uh, uh okay so to prevent it from going all over the place 
what I plan on doing is not only stabilizing my my uh, this green tent like, but I have begun stabilizing my frame. So as you can see, I have um, um, landscape fabric already down right here. And then I put my, let me grab my phone and so you can see, I put these cement blocks on top of the frame. Well, I put my frame down, then I put these cement blocks in between so that I can build the um, the frames inside inside the cement blocks. Now to prevent any shells from blowing, what I'm doing here is I am using zip ties to secure, oh, that one just like, that little, that little edge part broke, but as you can see, it's very secure. So that's pretty much how I'm going to be stabilizing this entire frame. Um, I do have rope to stabilize. I have rope and I have um, stakes and landscaping staples to stabilize the tent portion. And I think that will actually do the job, uh, but of course we'll see. And um, yeah, so if you have any experience with greenhouses and different things like this, or if you would like to start um, using a greenhouse, try out first the portable ones. I purchased this one from Aldi's and I also purchased this one from um, from Amazon. This one was from Amazon. Uh, no, actually I did not purchase this from Amazon. I purchased this one from Tractor Supply tractor supply stores I never heard of while living in the city but now I get to see plenty of them they're pretty much as frequent as a gas station where I live <laughs> so there these are the things I'm getting to getting to witness and be a part of but um can't you tell I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying every part of it even looking at my little boy over there in the playground using the stick just swinging that stick on into the trees it's the life that I actually have prayed for. So until next time, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you. I appreciate that. And those of you who have just been sticking around since the beginning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Until next time, have a great day. Be blessed.